this is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible, with the goal of the series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Check out episode 0 to learn more details, including how you can join in playing this world. This is so crazy! In the start here, we all spawn on a single block. Right above us is this leaf block. So we have to break it in order to get a sapling. So now we need to place down this sapling in order for it to grow up so we get our first blocks. Everybody walked towards the sun side using some coordinated teamwork. I was able to place down the sapling. As we wait for the sapling to grow up, let me tell you a little bit about this start. Everybody spawns on this single block here, and we found this seed here which has a layer of dirt with the trees atop. The majority of trees are missing due to the nature of raised grid, but their leaves are left behind. To give ourselves a little fun challenge at the start, we went ahead and knocked out the surrounding columns. That way we could have a sky block like start. But even when we escape this, we will be stuck to this Minecraft island which is surrounded by a big ocean, which gives us the further challenge of lacking resources. Hey, we got a tree now. You guys have to go to the outside, otherwise you're gonna die inside the tree. So I'm the only one that can break the tree. If everybody wants to move towards the sun again. Okay, I'm gonna break the logs. Hopefully nobody jumps in front. Okay, we got one log. Break the top piece. Another log. And break the bottom piece. So it goes to break it. Awesome. Hey, I got two logs. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to turn this into a crafting table so we could start crafting some new blocks and we'll also put this out so we get a little bit further let's also make some slabs so now we got a bunch of slabs let's go ahead and i'll place these around the edge so when we break down the rest of the tree we have a little place to collect the saplings. Hopefully we get some. And then I'll break down the rest of the tree. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these into slabs as well. We get some more blocks around here. So hopefully we can catch all the saplings. We are kind of on islands, so our resources are a bit limited. Uh, which way do you guys want to go? I guess the majority of the islands this way. So let me use the rest of my slabs to let people start traveling that direction. And hopefully... Everyone else can try to get some saplings so we can grow up more trees. Oh my goodness, I died <laughs> with the two logs. Oh, I got a sapling. Okay, I'll place it down. Wood is really important in the beginning because wood opens up the majority of the recipes. I think like one third of all recipes in the game Minecraft use wood. With the other two logs being sacrificed to the void gods, we're going to have to try to make this jump to see if we can make it to the rest of the island. Hey, awesome. We then went out a little ways to try to collect some resources to help our fellow mates leave the spawn point. You guys make the jump. <laughs> I'll just use all the wood. Okay, great start so far guys. Uh, I'm going to hop over here. So what we need is we need more dirt. I think I'm just going to fall into the void. I want to get back to spawn. Maybe we could help the guys out. Hey, there's a glow squid. <laughs> After collecting some floating dirt, we went ahead and placed this down so people can place down their extra saplings. Since all the leaves in the area are from real trees, they will naturally despawn, meaning we'll only be left with the saplings that we started with. Our next goal is to go for stone tools so we can start collecting ores. So I'll make a pickaxe and hopefully we can get stone so we can uh, eventually get iron because we want to get our cobble generator going. So I got one piece of wood. I'm going to leave that piece of wood right here. Where is the nearest safest stone? I need to get stone and also be able to bring it back to you guys. <laughs> How is this even possible? So I went ahead and parkour my way out to the edge of the island where there is some stone that is above me so I can mine it and hopefully collect it. Oh no! <gasps> no! I refill. After falling down, I was still determined to get that stone. And in doing so, I got the Stone Age Advancement. I haven't died with the pickaxe yet. I don't want to fall downwards because it's so hard to get back up again. So we got two cobble. So I need to probably hop back this way, get another cobble, now how do I get this back to you guys? <laughs> Staircasing up and down takes tons of materials, but just updating one of these water sources will cause it to spew the entire length of the world, giving us an easy way to get up and down. 
everybody started to contribute the nearby dirt in order to make this lovely dirt path back to spawn. But we still had to do a little bit of parkouring to get back to the crafting table. But once it got to the crafting table, I realized we don't have enough wood in order to make some sticks to make our stone pickaxe. With a tree log spotted in the distance, the goal was to somehow get it and come back to spawn, all without losing any more items. How about, does anybody want to be a, a human chest? I can be the human chest. But after dishing out all the items in my inventory, I actually noticed I had sticks the entire time. Okay, so, so, so we're able to craft ourselves a stone pickaxe, which is great. We also got the getting an upgrade advancement. So I got the pickaxe. So how, how far do I have to go to get iron? How do I get back up? Let's go by the water. So someone updated a water source over here. That's really useful. Because if you ever fall, you can just use water to get back up again. Let's fall down into the water. So now we need to look for iron. Yeah, water is so useful because it's like infinite. You don't need to constantly use blocks to tower up. It's also mobs. Because at night it gets so dark, mobs can spawn. There's a slime! Oh, slime just jumped into the void. GG. There's some iron over there. I guess I can go after that. Skeletons would be so scary. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to parkour to this iron. I don't want to take too much damage. Okay, I'm here. I want to get the iron that's over here. Oh, no! Oh, the water saved me. Oh, that's that's so wicked. You just jump in the water and pop up here. Okay, I see an iron over here. Let's grab that one. Okay. Oh, I'm almost dead! Oh wait, we also have to get cobble so we can smell up the iron. <laughs> I'll give this items back to the human chest. Everybody's want the sapling to grow. Okay, so I got iron and a pickaxe. Okay, so I gave the items to Yo-Yo. Now I'm gonna jump into the void. Hopefully I see some iron on the way down. Didn't see anything. Okay, so now all I need is the pickaxe back. So with the full health and hunger, as well as our pickaxe, we go out to collect the iron, but on the way over there, we also connect the bridge up with spawn with some extra dirt people been collecting. Oh, so I got two iron, awesome. That means we would have enough iron to make a bucket. We just need to grab some cobblestone in order to craft that furnace. But my greed to grab some more iron caused this to happen. Uh, I'm gonna take the- Oh, <gasps> no! Oh! Oh no, I held the jump button. I died with the pickaxe. But luckily we can collect the stone just by using our old wood pickaxe, safely stored away in our human chest. And while collecting some stone, notice above us that the tree grew up into a massive oak. With eight cobble collected, we head back to spawn. We make our first furnace to smelt down iron and we're gonna move that a little bit out of spawn. With the furnace placed down, let's go back and knock down that big tree in order to get more supplies to make more tools as well as fuel for the furnace. We got tons and tons of wood so we can make more tools. Um, I think we should probably make a chest. Let's make a chest so everybody could share stuff. There, you don't want to die with their stuff, you can put it in here. Using the extra wood, we go ahead and light the furnace up and get our first iron ingot. We got one iron ingot, awesome. We got the new advancement, acquiring hardware. So we got Minecraft one, we also got Stone Age, mine stone with your new pickaxe. Uh, we also got upgrade where we got a cobblestone or stone pickaxe. And then we got our first iron. We cook up the other iron ingots and make the bucket we need to move liquids around. So the first thing I do is putting a water source right by spawn is great in case somebody happens to fall nearby. They can easily move themselves into the water stream to get back up without falling into the void and losing all their stuff. We got the water, cool. So now we need to find lava. Uh, I'll probably use the water to get down low. Yeah, let's see some lava way down here. <gasps> oh, skeleton! No, 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 no. Being royally scared of the skeleton, I decided to wait for daytime in order to go down. Okay, grab the lava. <laughs> let's head back. <laughs> Don't want to die with the bucket. With this new water stream, I can easily get back to spawn. Hey! With the lava and water, we now want to make ourselves a cobblestone generator so we can get infinite amounts of blocks. Lava goes there. Can we grab this water? I guess we can grab this water. Like this block. Okay, there. The water goes over. Maybe I'll break that. Hey, producing cobblestone! <laughs> awesome job, guys. Let's try out the new cobble gen. 
With the cobble gen completed, this will give us access to so much more. With so many insane goals for the series, like obtaining all advancements, getting all items, and collecting all mobs, we got a lot to look forward to. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on it, and leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Raise Grid.